The Must Farm settlement was built on a platform on piles over a river channel and dates back to the end of the Bronze Age, about 1000 to 800 BC. The piles were destroyed by fire, causing the structure to collapse into the river, thereby preserving the contents in situ. The preserved contents included wooden containers ranging from buckets, troughs, bowls and a small wooden box. There are several examples of wooden boxes in the archaeological record with the earliest evidence for a wooden box in Britain provided by a Neolithic example recovered from the Sweet Track in Somerset. The box was one of the first sort of special finds that we found within the excavation and you, you can imagine the excitement when, when it came up. At Must Farm, only one part of the box was recovered. However, the presence of an internal lip suggests that it originally had a lid, making it a two-part artefact. So the species the box was made from was field maple, which by all accounts is, is the traditional wood to be used to, to make boxes and in right up until to the present day. This shows people in the Bronze Age had a good understanding of the characteristics of different timbers and is the finest and perhaps best finished artefact within the wooden assemblage, speaking of a quality of craftsmanship which stands out from the remainder of the assemblage and hints of having been produced by a specialist woodworker. The woodworking specialist, Mike Banforth, suggests that the box was of a quality that was in stark contrast to a lot of the, the other woodworking that we found within the settlement. So he thinks that perhaps it's a indication of something that's been imported. The box is outstanding in both form and execution and the rib decoration which adorns the external corners and edges is highly unusual, producing the effect of recessed side and base panels. It seems likely that the box would have been used to store items of some value to the owner. Toolmark evidence shows the vessels all being carved initially with an axe, with some finer work carried out with a gouge. There is some evidence of finishing, particularly among the bowl fragments, by sanding or burnishing to produce a smooth finish. When we found the box in, in Roundhouse One, it was it was charred like all the other material culture, and it was it was upside down. So it sort of there was this sort of tantalising moment that we'd find the contents of it and things. But unfortunately the, the, the lid was missing so maybe what was in it had emptied out before. <laughs>